I'm going to go into a demo for the next few minutes, and I'm going to pretend I am in the marketing department at HP. And HP right now is a great marketing cloud customer. They use all of the marketing cloud products. And right now, HP's campaign, you might have seen it during the Olympics, is called Make It Matter. Let's take a look at the Make It Matter campaign. It's something you're born with and inspires the things you choose to do. You do what you do because it matters. At HP, we don't just believe in the power of technology. We believe in the power of people when technology works for you to dream, to create, to work. If you're going to do something, make it matter. All right, I love this campaign. It's inspiring, it's human, and you know, how now responsible for Make It Matter in HP do I use the social marketing cloud to do all of my social marketing around HP Make It Matter? And what you'll see here is our YouTube branded page. And what's interesting is you'll notice there's a little cameo of a product that showed up for one second in there, and I'll come back to that in a minute. But I also have my presence not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook. And so I have Make It Matter and Make It Matter conversations on Facebook, also on Twitter. So on Twitter, my Twitter page is all branded Make It Matter. If you're going to do something, Make It Matter. And of course, my own web property as well. And I have my own page, and I've you know, got content around performance matters and living light matters, and I want to engage and talk to my customers about what matters. So how do I manage all this? So let's take a look. We'll log into the marketing cloud, and I'll show you what we can do. So this is the marketing cloud. We logged in, and the first thing you'll notice is that the marketing cloud is a social product, a social application. Just like everything in Salesforce, we believe that you know, Facebook has created this paradigm which we you know, want to work in this way as well. So now here, I can collaborate with all of my marketing colleagues across the organization as we do work, as we work on campaigns. So you can see that uh, at the top, you know, Joe just refreshed the Make It Matter Facebook tab, and my team is commenting on that, and Patrick's talking about how great the campaign is going. But not only that, the, the Marketing Cloud applications are also publishing updates in my feed. So here is our ad optimizer who's saying that my ad impression goal is two-thirds complete. So now I don't have to go deep into all these applications and understand what's going on. They're coming to me and giving me updates. So this is a really important part, and so we've put Chatter really at the heart of the new marketing cloud, which we're very excited about. So what I'm going to do now is click on this little update here that says that there's high activity on my Make It Matter topic profile, and we'll go into our listening application. Here, I can listen and understand, do customers think the Make It Matter campaign is resonating? Do they like it? And I can look at all the conversations. I can see that it's spiking. Obviously, there was a lot of tension around the Olympics. I can see where it's coming from, Facebook and Twitter and blogs and forums, and I can look at things like demographics, you know, who's speaking, their age and their gender, and I can look at all the conversations. But what's interesting is this word cloud in the middle is the biggest, most mentioned topic is the slate. And there was no mention of the slate in the video that you saw, but what you might have noticed, there was a one-second cameo of appearance of a guy holding a tablet, and everyone noticed that. And the whole community started talking about it. Is that the new slate? And how big is it? And what's the resolution? And all that. So it was really exciting that we snuck that in there. And yet, it worked. It resonated. Everybody noticed that. And so with listening, I can drill into conversations. And I want to show you a concept that's really interesting. And I'm going to click on family because people are talking about family. And I'm going to look at the conversations. And here's a post at the top. And I'm going to look at that post. It's a Tumblr post from a customer who's talking about the campaign got them thinking about all the stuff they want to teach their kids, and they're about to have a new family. And this is great a great story. It's a brand story, but I didn't tell the story. My customer told the story. But I'd like to actually acknowledge my customer's story and actually promote it. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to actually go from my listening insight, and I'm going to take an action in publishing. And I'm going to actually publish this to Twitter, and I'm going to publish this to my Facebook page. And I say, you know, I'm excited how it inspired the parent to be, and we'll go ahead and send that. So now I've taken this customer generated content and I've published it. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is that we've taken listening to a whole other level. 
And let's just drill in for a minute to all the conversations about Make It Matter. And let's say we were, we were listening to, you know, thousands of conversations, but we need to go deeper than just searching through keywords. Let's go ahead and uh, look at that, Patrick. And one of the things that we have is an insights platform. And we have partnered with the world's best insights companies to enrich the data in the listening. And so what I can do is segment this data by very interesting things. Yes, there's age and demographics. There's sentiment. Everyone wants to know, you know, positive, negative. I'm working with companies like Clarabridge. We do multilingual sentiment. We want to look at things like influence. But we want to go beyond sentiment and look at things like emotion, you know. Are people expressing anxiety or fear? You know, not just positive and negative, but also entities. If we wanted to say, what are the top most mentioned products in association with the slate? The system knows what a product is. It knows what a place is. It knows what a medical condition is. It knows what a music album is. And it also does intention analysis with our partner, Open Amplify, where I can look and say, what are people advocating for? What are they detracting? When are they expressing an intent to buy? And so here, I'm looking at the topics people are advocating for. And they're advocating for family, and I really want to track this, so I'm going to add this to my dashboard. And so you can see the kind of insights that we can get. But now what I want to do is I want to go to our publisher and look at our social presence on Facebook. And actually, what I'm going to do is take that insight from what people are talking about, and I'm just going to keep my community active, and I'm going to go in and ask my community what do they think matters to them. So here I am in the editor. I'm looking at our Facebook page. You can see I have the video at the top. I have three products that I've decided to sell here, the Z1 workstation, um, a notebook PC, and the ePrinter, which I love ePrinters. Bought one for my mom so I could send her photos from my iPhone. And I have a poll, and then I have this contest at the bottom, which are all kind of conversion events where I want to be able to get your email and send you news. And so let's go and edit this. Uh, my partner in crime here, Patrick Stokes, over in the DJ booth. And you can see our layout. And on the left, we have all these uh, social applications that you can drag and drop over and deploy with a few clicks. So Patrick's already created a new poll for me. And he's going to promote it to the top. And let's go preview that and see what that new poll looks like. So now I'm looking at my page. And there's the new poll. What matters to you? Family, healthcare, environment. Simple. I can publish it. but. OK, I need this to work on the mobile you know, application as well. So can we take a look at what it would look like on mobile? I can preview mobile. You know, How about landscape mode? Can I see what that looks like? Simple as that. A few clicks, and I can now deploy these new applications. And as Michael would say, we should have some applause for this capability. <laughs> All right. So I've talked about listening. And how we can, you know, connect with the voice of our brand and our industry. And I've talked about publishing. And now I want to look at engagement. So let's go into our engagement application. And what I've done here is something really interesting. I have these columns of conversation set up. But I want to explain to you what you're looking at. In this second column, what I've done is taken these insights from our listening platform that can automatically detect advocacy. And I've put all the advocating conversations in here for my community manager in the command center to respond to. So Patrick's going to go ahead and respond to Emily, who loves our campaign and our commercial. He's going to say, you know, thanks for saying so. We love that. But I'm doing something even more than this. Remember I talked about workflow and automation? So I have a human who's responding with a human voice, appreciating a customer who's advocating. But I'm also automating something in the background. And let's go look at our rules engine. And I have rules here, and I've created a Make It Matter rule. And what I can do is say, if somebody's talking about Make It Matter and they're advocating, then I want to go do something. And I'm actually going to go create a contact inside of Salesforce. And I'm going to tag that person as my advocate. And I'm going to, in real time, build my database of advocates automatically without any human involvement. And I'm going to assign it to my community team for response. So that's the example of the kind of rules that we can build and the kind of automation that we can have, yet I'm not talking about automated responses to customers. We're still engaging in a human voice. So that's exciting. The other thing I can do here in this engagement application is manage my content calendar across my team. So here I can go look at everything that my team has worked on. And when I found that post in listening and I published it, uh, I had permission to do that, but maybe I I'm not the editor of the page, so I could have only you know, maybe had permission to seed it. So in here, I have scheduled content. I have content waiting for approval. 
and, you know, an editor can go in and schedule content. But right now I want to go look at the content I already published, and let's see how that's resonating. So here I can see all of my outgoing content that I've generated, and at the top is this Tumblr post for my customer. And you can see it's already getting some engagement, 10 likes, 12 comments, some reshares, some links. And so it's working really well. So what can I do with this? Well, let me show you how you can buy a sponsored story inside the Marketing Cloud. We're going to go right here and promote this. And we're going to buy a sponsored story on Facebook. So right here, we can use all of the targeting capabilities. And of course, we want to, to uh, promote this and amplify this to people that it's relevant to. So we'll add parenting as an interest category. And I'm from Canada, so I always you know, don't want to forget my fellow Canadians. And we'll add that. And we can add all of the other targeting capabilities in Facebook. And here we're going to do a mobile feed ad. And we can see a preview of the ad on the right. And we're going to spend $10,000 on this budget. Now, the other thing we're going to do is select an optimizer rule. And I could go into this and show you an amazing, sophisticated platform here. But basically, I'm picking a rule that says, if I get more than 5,000 views, increase my budget by 20%. Or I could say, if I don't get a click-through rate of a certain percentage, end the campaign early. So we have very sophisticated rules so that your investments are protected. So let's go ahead and publish this. And so now think about this. I've taken customer-generated content. I've you know, thanked that customer, engaged that customer. I publish it on my page. I look at how it's resonating. It's resonating with my community. Then I amplify it. And let's take a look at our iPhone. And here we have our Facebook feed. And that simply is the ad in the feed. That's pretty cool. OK. So I've talked about these six things, five of them. Listening, how we can publish and manage all of our social applications, how we can engage, and how our team can collaborate on our content calendar and look at how our content is resonating, how we can convert that into sponsored stories and promoted posts. And now let's talk about measurement. And what happens here is, you know, yes, we're growing advocacy, we're, in, you know, growing sentiment, we're growing conversation volume around our brand, but marketers want to know, is this driving, you know, business results? And if you remember our Facebook page, we had three conversion events that are interesting to me. Sales of the Z1 workstation, sales of e-printers, and sign-ups to my opt-in uh, contest that I had. So I've determined those are the three events that I'm interested in measuring. And what I want to know is how do all of the things that I do, my earned, my owned, and my paid initiatives contribute to those goals? And so my owned initiatives, the content that I've published, my earned initiatives, my customer-generated content that I've engaged with, and then my paid initiative, my ads. And I can see here how many impressions I'm able to drive and the exact dollar value. So this, as a marketer, allows me to prove that what I'm doing is working. And they might be intermediary goals or they might be end goals. And this is really why we are so excited about bringing these six things together in one measurement framework so that we can help you transform your marketing and prove that this is working and increase your investments in social. So I'm really excited about this. And Patrick, I'd like to go back to the home page. And I'm just, the team has just knocked it out of the park. So I want to go and do a little status update there and just congratulate the team on a fantastic job on Make It Matter. Mike? Back over to you.